Good afternoon, this is Keith Hall, and today we're going to be learning how you can export an Access database table to an Excel spreadsheet. And I'm using uh, uh, Microsoft Office applications to do this for uh, the version 2016. So in order to do this, uh, go into your Access uh, application, open a database that you want to work with, and you first uh, must uh, enable um, uh, these references. If you go to, if you open up your uh, Visual Basic uh, editor in Access here, uh, let me. Uh, go back to the application and I'll show you how to open up that. Basically you go to the database tools and then you have Visual Basic over here and you just click on that and you'll have your Visual Basic editor open up. And what you want to do is you want to make sure you have these references selected. Now you go up to the tools in your Visual Basic editor, click on references and make sure you have this option selected which is the Microsoft Visual Basic for Applications Extensibility 5.3. So make sure you have that selected and what you want to do to in order to do this you just create a module and you do this by doing insert and then select module over here and you'll create a whole new module for yourself to create a subroutine to execute the code necessary to export your data to an Excel file. So I wrote up this little uh, subroutine here and uh, basically I'm going to go through line by line. I put comments in here to let us know what we're going to be doing. Um, it's always best that you use the um, on error um, uh, model to capture any errors that occur in your code. So if an error occurs, it's going to basically this go to reference is going to go to error handler and you set that up yourself and it's going to go somewhere else within your subroutine where it says error handler, which is down here. And if an error does occur, I'm going to uh, have a message box appear and I'm going to uh, put in all these values here the error number uh, uh, the description of the error and that's what would, that's what will pop up if an error occurs and then uh, after um, the user selects OK on that message box it's just going to resume error handler exit which will come back up here and then it will exit your subroutine so after that, you're going to just declare some uh, variables up here. Uh, I'm going to set up a variable for the database table. And I'm going to also set up a variable for the reference, the where we want to store our Excel spreadsheet on our hard drive. So it's uh, the um, so variable is Excel worksheet path. You call it whatever that you want. You set your path now, you set up your variable, and wherever you want to store your um, file on your hard drive, you put the path here. Now, I'm hard coding it for simplicity purposes, but uh, in for the future, basically what you want to do is you want to make this dynamic. So now I'm going to, again, I'm going to reference. Um, uh, concatenate the actual file name that I want to call it and that's what I'm doing here in this line of code I want to set up the database table variable equal to whatever table that you're going to be exporting the data from from your database in my case my table is called customer now we're going to execute this one command and this is uh, actually the command that really actually exports your um, table data to your spreadsheet. 
and we're going to be using the do command object um, to run the Microsoft Office Access Actions through Visual Basic. And the do command object has a method called transfer spreadsheet. And that method requires a number of different arguments. Now the first argument is going to be your transfer type. And what that means is do you want to export from the database or do you want to import from or you might want to link to your database. In this case I want to use the type of AC export meaning that I want to export my data from this table in my database. The second argument is spreadsheet type and basically the, uh, these types uh, are of enumerated types that specify each version of Excel and you could look that up on the internet for the, inner, uh, the enumerated types that you could use. The third argument is your table name. So again I'm going to pass it a variable, db table, which I set up here equal to whatever my uh, table name is. The, uh, the next argument, the fourth argument, is your file name. So what do you want to call your file, your Excel spreadsheet file, once it exports the data? And you, I'm passing it a variable, and my variable is set up here in the code to what it is equal to which is your path plus your name of your file and this last argument down here is called has field names and what that basically means is uh, when you export access table or a select query data to your spreadsheet the field names are inserted into the first row of your spreadsheet okay so I want to insert uh, the field names or in other words column names into my spreadsheet so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run this using the run command run um, menu option up here in your visual basic editor now uh, what you would want to do in the future is basically if you want to create a user form in your access database and then you create a command button and that command button once you click on it you're going to execute this code but I don't have a form set up and I'm just going to show this uh, we're going to run it and you can see that it's going to store it in my C in, in, in this directory basically my test directory so I'm going to run it from here and click that and it also and it actually ran it already it ran without errors now I'm going to go to my uh, test location here and as you can see it created a file which is what I named it here in my in my code uh, right over here this is the name of the file and once I double click on it to open it up as you can see it exported my data from the customer table and it put in the field names and basically um, control shift n takes me down there's uh, actually 4500 uh, and 31 records not 32 because the first row of data is my uh, column names but 4531 records so if we go back to our database and open up the customer table you'll be able to see that down here let me uh, so you could see it so you could see down here there's 4531 records so it exported the data for you so this is all test data but I just want to show you how you can export your table data into an Excel spreadsheet. So I hope that hopefully this uh, tutorial was uh, uh, useful for t you and I uh, will be doing more access um, uh, tutorials in the future. So look for
support on my YouTube channel and um, you'll see um, uh, all my other videos that I have there. I want to thank you for stopping by today and uh, please share and like this video. I appreciate it and have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye now.